Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your girl Mitzi, and this is Mitzi. Let's think about it. Today, we have an interesting topic with a lovely special guest here today. We are going to be thinking about virtual photography. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right. Virtual photography, that is something that we should be thinking about. So, Anne-Marie, I have a quick question. When you hear the words virtual photography, what does it make you think about? I mean, I know what it is, but what it makes me think about is that it's just so much fun and that I just want other people to know it actually exists. Because almost every day I tell people like, you know what it is? And they're like, no, <laughs> you know? And so I just explain it. And it's just the most simple thing and the most fun and co-creative thing. And I discovered it like a year ago. And since then, I've just been in love with it and just like do it all the time with like clients or with friends and just for creative exercising because... You know, let me just break down how it works real quick. So, you know, it's a, there's free apps for it. You know, it's called Shutter app is the one I'm using. And so you can download it and you can do it with friends if you want to. And how it works is basically it's like a Zoom call. Only I can then through the app basically remotely trigger your camera app on your phone. Like when you give the phone to a stranger, they take a photo, like they press that button. That's what I can do from the other end of the world. We don't have to be on the same continent. And so that way you can actually step back and look cute in photos. Because I know, especially us women, we love taking photos because it documents a vibe, a moment, like you treasure those memories. And then you can look back on tap into that again, again. But when you do it by yourself sometimes it's just not as cute you're like you look dope you just like everything is beautiful and then you take the selfie and you're like oh why is this not hitting me and that's just because you're trying so hard you're too close to the camera you're static and when you give it to like your best friend they just know your angles they know how to hype you up and then your energy is different so it's really Mm -hmm. about this interplay with other people or just turning off your brain for a second and just enjoying this kind of interaction and then letting the photographer take care of all of the details, look at all of the things that might be in the way, like turn towards the light more, there's a stray hair in your face or just the most random ideas, like lay the phone on the ground, like jump over it, like hold the phone into the tree and all of that. So you have this kind of fun vibe that gives you totally different photos, but you only need your phone and you can do that anywhere. So like that's... That's what I love about it. Yeah, I can see the passion. And I think that's what I love the most about this conversation is because you have passion in this. This is not just something that like, oh, boom, press a button. Bye. No, it's like, no, I'm going to help you create the image that you know that you want in your head. You know how hard it is as a writer to find an illustrator to to match my words Mm -hmm. to my image. That's a very difficult thing to do. And that's basically what you're doing Yeah, Uh, from all around the world. If you need somebody to take that picture, that is something that we don't really think about. We really don't because you were describing it. And I'm like, yeah, if I was in a place and I don't really want to ask a stranger to take my photo because they're either too tall or too short or just they don't know how I want to be positioned. They they make me look so square or just so weird. They take the wrong angle. I'm just like, what is going on here? So it's not right to always disturb someone's peace to be like hey 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 stop what you're doing come talk to me i need you to take this photo quick move here throw your phone or keep your phone you know you never know nowadays Mm -hmm. and when you do do it by yourself you have your little tripod you set it up you have your little clicker or your watch and you can time it but it's exactly like you said you don't know if a bird's gonna fly or you don't know if someone's gonna just sneeze and or someone's going to throw something or your hair is just going to go across your face or your dress is going to go up yeah you have no idea the circumstances are where you can be that person on the other side like okay wait wait for it wait for it click perfect because it's true sometimes all we want to do is just look back at these memories for ourselves it's not for the world sometimes sometimes it's just for ourselves to look at it and be like hmm this was a great moment in my lifetime I think that is something beautiful to have and to share with people. So you said you you came across the across this and about a year ago. Wow, how did this come across your life? Well, I was in a networking event and you know just wanted to talk to other women and what they do in their business because I find there's always something super fascinating about people. And you know, I, I used to be super depressed and thought I was like 
you know, not interesting. Like, what did I have to offer? Like all of the doubts and it was just random people and conversations when I was traveling that really picked me up, that showed me I was just, you know, worth something and interesting. And that kind of healed my soul to have these random strangers show up, drop a compliment, hold space while I was crying, you know, and then they just, you know, went about their day without any kind of intention behind it or any kind of agenda and I realized that that was just so healing and especially when I look back at the photos oftentimes I wasn't even in them because I was taking them traveling by myself and just a journey of me moving in front of the camera first like teeny tiny in the distance in a silhouette and then gradually over the years coming closer to the camera actually looking into the camera and then actually embracing it and taking it as a creative tool it is where you just like play around with it give a kid a camera they will come up with all kinds of weird angles and ideas and stories and they're having fun and the photos don't look good but they're having fun and I just want to inspire more people to just take away all of the expectations and let your inner child out and at the same time because I've been doing it for business because I've been in content I realized that that's also what we need and then that's what attracts us to other people when they see our special flavor of weird you know but if you don't show it if you're too square and have power pose suited up photos everywhere you don't stand out because that's what everybody does and like I said I think everybody's so special and unique and sometimes you need to pull it out of them when you have these random conversations and so I had all of these networking calls and this one photographer woman from the UK she just casually like dropped it into her you know into just a sentence she's like yeah I do photography and product photos and whatever and then you know sometimes do a virtual remote shoot I'm like what do you mean what do you mean hold on hold on (laughs) and then she was like yeah I I don't want to explain it to you right now um here's the link to the software uh because we had like a minute left to go and I was like oh I figured it out, you know, of ADHD, if I dive into it, like it will be my hyper focus. It was. And I just love it. I just love it. And then I did photo shoots with people in San Francisco and South Africa. And like I project managed it from here in Germany. Like I got Airbnb and a, a model and a designer to like stage the entire shoot because I'm a very creative person. I'm like, I can make it work within the limited frame that I see because I cannot reach for the screen. And that just, you know, gets a totally different vibe from people because they don't see me. When you step away from the camera, you see the back of the phone. So you have to trust that I'm doing something that's good. You only hear my voice trying to get you into position and that usually doesn't work. You know, people start confusing left and right. And so I started coming up with storytelling where I'm like, Imagine you're now a queen, you're you're on a gigantic rabbit and you're just riding into battle. I don't know. Like I'm just making up stuff on the spot to kind of get people off kilter where they start not posing and thinking of how they need to look and instead they just embody it. And then that's a natural problem. So it's really, really fun. No, I could imagine. I really love the way that you describe it. And like I said, you have so much passion. I love that passion because, man, you made me start thinking of other ways. And to be honest, the first thing I thought of is safety. With this virtual yeah. photography, you have safety as as a photographer and as a model, or as a person who is looking for the services because... There's so much taboo in the photography industry of misabuse, you know, and yeah. it's it's sad because people don't know who to trust. But when oh, you yeah. have this type of of setup, you have the safety of. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay. a good. That's a good no. way to think about it, actually, because you know I. I found it's really kind of almost hard to find other women photographers. I mean, there are lots out there, but a lot of it is still dominated by men. Same with video. And I, that's why I always love doing networking. I'm like, I just want to see you and I want to hype you up because we're all different, different approaches. And then I worked with a bunch of models on these shoots as well. And most of them have never done these. And some of them did. And they said it is entirely different working with a woman because, you know, you don't have that kind of... Is it sleazy? Is he hitting on? Like, why does it have to be nude shoot all the time? <laughs> like, yeah. at the point? Because that is usually, that, that just straight up gives me the ache. Like, you can yeah. appreciate women's bodies and beauty and all of that, but they can still keep on their clothes. Or, like, you can just hide stuff. When, like, you can play around with it in a lot of creative ways. Why, has, why does it have to be boobs? <laughs> yeah. You know? 
white. And so I I also do shoots where they stand in front of just a white wall and just a bed sheet. I don't know what they're wearing underneath. I don't know. But I'm always like, wait, 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 it's slipping. Like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> you know, I just want them to be comfortable and ultimately just feel that they are represented as themselves, but also in a way that they have not seen themselves, where they're not my my puppet, where I'm like, oh, I can dress you up. I can stage you like this and that, like you're my puppet. No, yeah. I'm just trying to get out their personality through conversation. And then I interpret it if they want through like an artistic editing where I put them instead of like wearing the bedsheet, suddenly it's like transformed into a gown and you're in a sea of orchids and you have a crown and you're like that amazing queen. And when they look at it, they start actually taking in the entire picture as opposed to a lot of times we are just start criticizing like my nose I don't like it I don't like my ears I don't like this and I'm here as a photographer I'm like I don't know what you mean like I think you're beautiful the photo's beautiful the session was beautiful and now we have this weird flavor in the air like you know you just the vibe is off and I didn't do anything and oh I can't make people take the compliments I'm like yeah is this is a way to heal yourself but like you said also in a safe space like you don't have to leave the house it's great for introverts. You don't have to feel awkward with another person. There's literally nobody else. Yeah. And if you really don't like the conversation, if you want to end the session, it's quick boom yeah. and no guilt and right. no, no pressure. And so you can I block think... the camera too if you want to like move around the house or if you want to change clothes. And I, because I can, as a photographer, switch around cameras, but okay. you can like block that if you're like, um, no, <laughs> I don't want yeah. you to switch. Around. And that makes it very comfortable because if you're in a limited space or in a limited area and yeah. you have other things going around around you, you can, as, as a client, you can customize it for your advantage. So it's exactly what you want. So you don't have to worry about, oh, is my photographer going to go in the in the opposite direction of where I'm going? And it's like you said earlier, is that creating the same image of what they are trying to do and giving that safe space and that understanding. Like, listen, I loved, I absolutely loved when you said, I don't understand what you mean. Like, I see you as 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 all that you are and you're a beautiful whole of being. And I wish more people knew that, but they are their worst critics you know they are their worst critics and it's funny because i i'm a type of person that that i love to randomly take like um pictures of like professional pictures of myself but i keep it for me you know because it's like my milestone so every about like five to ten years i'll take pictures myself professionally and it's always um my first time was a man and it was uncomfortable and Mm. then the second time was a woman but and i had my friend there so it was comfortable, but at the same time, when I looked at the pictures, I was just like, I was laughing because they, I didn't like them. I looked so ugly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's how mm-hmm. I felt. I was just like, oh my goodness, this is, this, is this, is this what I thought was sexy? Like, is this what I thought worked for me? And I was so mm-hmm. funny, but years later, I looked at the ones that I chose and I was like, wow, I look good. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe I, 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 I own that. Like I had that, like, this was all me at one point in my milestone, you know? So right. I think having this as an individual man or woman, if you want to feel significant, having those moments in time, just frozen, I feel like having that person, like a photographer, like yourself to do this, this is a beautiful, a beautiful trade, a beautiful gift to give other people. And it, my hardest thing before our conversation was that what's the difference between a screenshot and virtual photography, you know, because for my, <laughs> in my mind, I was like, I don't know is that all you're doing is screen is doing a screenshot. So I'm pretty sure a lot of the listeners, that's what they're, they're, they're stuck at. I mean, in your mind, I know, I know you already kind of explained it, but if you want to break that down further, what's the difference? Well, basically you get the whole other person who knows what they're doing with photos give you the directions basically you can even learn from it like because i literally see what your camera sees so if if i don't like what i'm seeing i'm like move an inch to the left like tilt it up that way look into the sky no not that sky like just maybe imagine there's a ufo above your head you know like you just like yeah um point at things take things and i usually do it very fast so people don't overthink it i'm an 
overthinker all the time so like i'm just like don't think don't think like how do i get people distracted because they don't see me i can't show them what i want them to do so i have to be really creative and i just try out a ton of different things to like sit on the floor sit on the couch like lean against a table like grab that book no put it away like open that microwave i don't know you know so like different things you didn't think about and all the time i will be looking is the composition okay are you still good with the lighting um does your shirt look a bit weird do you need to change you know your hair parting and like you know like clean your glasses I don't know I'm always looking at like is everything kind of in harmony is there something cool I can work with and also up front I do calls where I just make sure that they have maybe ideas and wishes they want honored or if they're open to the process and making sure that they actually have good lighting because overhead lighting is never good so I'm working with natural lighting because I can only have the good quality that their phone camera can provide and so I'm working with like the best time of the day when the best light hits through the window or like do you want to go outside or inside like what kind of clothes could you wear to make yourself pop because it's different than in-person shoots I don't have as much creative control and you know you don't get that blurry background and you know so there's some things to avoid and so I make sure they have everything ready to go that they will look cute and then I use all of the knowledge to do that in the shoe to be very resourceful and creative on the go because that's what I had to do when I was traveling the world and creating content I had to think of a thousand things at the same time, which then stressed me out and I looked really tense in the photos, right? And so I'm taking on all of that while the clients can just enjoy this kind of weird experience where they can just let loose and yeah. see their entire space from a different perspective. Like my eyes will look at different things completely differently. I'm like, oh, I want to see this frame. Like, what is that picture? It's super cute. Like, oh my gosh, I love the vase. Like, hold it in your hands. Like, what flower is that? Tell me about it. You know, like... I'm, I'm like a big, big child. <laughs> and so I will like question things and make people just appreciate it through another person's perspective. And then maybe even like at one point I did a shoot where we started in the living room, then we went outside and then I had them sit behind the glass door. So they looked through the glass door, but the phone was outside. So it had a reflection and then the cat came. I was like, grab the cat, like cuddle the cat. And I put the phone into the tree and like, I want you to like tilt it down. So you're looking at the phone and like trust the process, trust it. So, you know, all those things you would probably not do as your own selfies. So you learn yeah see things differently from a photographer's perspective but also you know change up your daily routine in that way yeah it's to be get the, it's to it's to have that creativity again and it's like yeah, that too and just co-creation to that, right? yeah that imagination and that creativity yeah. and there's that possibilities of what what ifs you know you you yeah. you truly know how to tap into that because you have to do what if like okay you have a game plan you have an objective but mm-hmm. what if, and as soon as you catch it, that you find, you find that window, you take it, you take it and you, and you, and you capture it in such a beautiful way. And, oh, I mm-hmm. love this. I, I absolutely love this. I think this is a brilliant idea. I, I don't know why people don't do this. I think the only issue that this, op- this uh, virtual photography has is no Wi-Fi connection. If you don't have yeah, Wi-Fi connection, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. the only obstacle that you have. But other than that, I mean, now we're turning into a day and age where we have Wi-Fi in our cars. You know, we have Wi-Fi um, public stations places. in public places now. So it's just like, unless it's really in a remote, remote area, you can pretty, yeah. pretty much do this anywhere that's accessible. Exactly. And because I've done a lot of travel, and I always had to hunt the Wi-Fi, right? There's like so many resources out there now with like blogger share and like this coffee has cute, this like, you know, there's like websites that show like where is Wi-Fi.com or something. I don't know. Like you can research that. You can Google that. You can like scout it out beforehand or you have it on your phone. There's like eSIM option, right? Unless you, like you said, you travel really remotely, like in the Australian outback, but even there I had Wi-Fi on some mountains. So I was always the first one to race up the mountains. Everyone thought I was so fit, but I was just like i have reception i need to tweet (laughs) that's determination that's determination determination. oh my goodness that (laughs) is so funny i love that oh so the time is catching up with us um so i have to ask you what would you tell your younger self if you could tell your younger self anything so much well first and foremost that 
it's okay to be different because we're all different. And I was just struggling so much with it. And actually, when you really dig deep into it, that is the most beautiful thing about you, that you are different and you have all of these special sometimes weird things and like even you know reframing what weird is now it's like I like it are you my kind of weird <laughs> you know but yeah. it's the best way to actually show up as yourself obviously you're vulnerable but you are that either way and yeah. when you are polarizing because you're so authentically yourself when you just like put it out there then that's when you can find those people like those beautiful strangers who hold space and help you grow and yeah. at the same time the people who really don't like it they will go away because they will like not like it they will let you know which is your cue to be like okay have a good day bye right you don't have to prove anybody your worth you don't have to prove yourself to them you don't have to justify it unless you like you know like be a good person kind person but you do not have to be a people pleaser or you know be perceived a certain way to other people because you cannot control that and they have their own people so you're doing everybody basically a disservice by just trying to fit into everybody's idea of what you should be so yeah. you know people pleasing is really not the way forward and i learned the hard way so mm. No, I think many of us fall into that trap of people pleasing. You know, a lot yeah. of us grew up in situations that we didn't choose. And because of that, it, we have a different skin to us. You know, we have a different yeah. mindset, different processing, you know. So with that, I think everything that you said was spot on because honestly, I've asked this question so many times and I've asked myself, I had to ask myself, Mitzi, what would I do? And it's aligned to what you said. You know, to be mm -hmm. honest, it's the line to what you said. So I've been through similar situations where the mind and, and the perception and the deception is all real. So it's nice to know that you're across the world on the other side and we, we still have similarities. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that's what unites us as human beings is yeah. some of the experiences that we go through and that we don't think about that, you know, mm -hmm. so this has been interesting. So, so I guess to finally wrap it up, what can be lasting words of wisdom, even though literally everything that you said had so many great points, so many great things to keep on thinking about, but what can be some lasting words to keep us thinking? Well, let your freak flag fly. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means to you, you know, you'll find exactly. your people. Exactly. Find your people, find your, find your little color weird and embrace it. And just, ah, this is me. You know, it's okay. Be you because somebody's going to love you as is. And that's all we need is yeah. you as is. Oh, beautiful. I love that. So that being said, if you guys want to know more about Anne Marie, check out all the goodness that she has to offer. Check out my website, find her lovely photo, and you can always keep on thinking. So with that being said, always, always, always keep on thinking y'all. Bye.